Hello, hello, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Tyler Bryden here. What I wanna show you in this video is how you can create your first word cloud in Speak. Uh, some of you may be uploading audio and video, some of you may be uploading text. I'm gonna show you both options here and how to quickly do this to generate the word cloud that you can customize uh, in several different ways. So um, the first thing I'll do is hit new upload. So this is for audio and video. And very simply put, I can then click on this file or if it's multiple files, uh, it's going to automatically calculate the duration and uh, and then you can assign it to the folder that you want. So I'm going to, I've got a ton of files in here, so I won't upload this, but I'll show you what that looks like from an output perspective. And then I've also got the option to upload text. And so there's this little quick action within the dashboard. That dashboard is going to be the first thing that you see when you log in. And I can copy this. I can drop it in and I can hit save. And now it is starting to do um, some analysis on uh, the uh, file. And right away, I can start to see all these uh, entities and you say, this is not a word cloud, I'm looking for a word cloud. All you have to do is hit on this little Explore Insights button and now we have this uh, text note uh, visualized. And I can then customize this visualization in multiple ways. I can say, hey, I only want 25, uh, way I only want 25 uh, words uh, shown here. I only want uh, 10 uh, words shown. I like 25, I think 25 is pretty good. I can go in here and then now I have the option to download this so I can save it as a PNG and if I uh, do that uh, I can I'll pull that up in a second and I can also export that as uh, a CSV so if you give me one second I'm going to switch and then pull that up so you can actually see the final file and again ton of different ways that you can work with uh, this info we also you know not as um, uh, uh, here we go. You can now see this uh, this word cloud visualized, nice um, you know colors. The uh, the bigger images or the bigger sort of words are representing uh, the more instances of it within the actual data, and allows you to then share this really quickly in a nice sort of PNG format. Um, there are ways to uh, do this uh, with the CSV. If you're say you're using some sort of other data visualization tool or whatever you're doing, you have all the uh, words how many times they appeared, and then you can instantly use that to do some sort of ranking or visualization. I did wanna show you one thing because I think this is where it starts to get um, super exciting, is that uh, we don't wanna just do one word cloud on one file, we wanna do it on uh, many files. And so I have, for example, uh, this little conference where we collected uh, recordings from, so people were uh, submitting all these recordings, and you can see there's actually this Explore Insights button right at the top too. So I can now hit uh, Explore Insights, and it's now giving me the word cloud uh, representation of that entire folder. So now you've got the word cloud generating the um, insights from uh, across all those files that are included. So uh, that's how you can do that. There's one last thing that I want to show you, which I think you might be uh, interested in, and uh, and that is this idea of insights uh, categorization. Uh, and basically what I can do is I can create um, a category and I can put keywords and phrases in that category. And if any of that um, uh, data that you upload includes those keywords and phrases, it will automatically be extracted. Speak in its own right is doing some sort of uh, automatic detection of the keywords and phrases by most, uh, you know, most, the ones that appear most as well as the most unique words. But you may be looking for things in specific, you know, in, uh, in particular, uh, in this case, this was earning calls talking about capital, and you want that to be um, an insight that then shows up in the word cloud with the right representation um, size wise to show how much it was actually um, in it. So if you are adding this, it's like super easy. You can create, you can create a category and then you can then add a phrase. So if I say earnings, it's like, you know, money, uh, and then I can then save. And the only last thing that you have to do at that point is if I want to, if I have, um, uh, a bunch of data, I can hit, I can go and I can hit reanalyze that data. It will reanalyze it. And then immediately if the word money is in any of those, uh, you can see uh, it in the final word cloud there. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, you can see money uh, populated here. And I'll just, I couldn't help myself one last uh, mention is you can actually click on this word cloud. It's completely interactive and you can see the exact mention of it. So that's that other valuable layer of speak that we're really trying to make more about, uh, you know, more exciting for you, a little summary of it. And we think this is a really uh, exciting uh, advancement of how people are using word clouds and data visualizations that we hope you love. So as always, send me a note, Tyler at speakai.co, send us a live chat. We hope you love the system. We hope you love creating the word clouds and we look forward to uh, working with you to do some great stuff. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.